Hey, it's Vanessa. Welcome back. I wanted to talk to you today about cheating. Um, so I'm a cheater, little confession, and I actually think that you should be too. So I am talking about cheating on my cheat days. So I was at a block party the other day and a girl said to me like, cause I was eating my body weight and taco dip. And she said, oh, are you having a cheat day? And I said, I just kind of laughed and I said, I have been cheating on my cheat days for years and I've never been happier. So the idea of a cheat day of course is that you eat really, really well and then you know, to reward yourself, you have a cheat day where you can eat a whole bunch of crap and eat whatever you want and not have to feel guilty about it. It's that I can eat whatever I want on Saturday mentality and truthfully, it's completely screwing you over and working against you. So that's what I wanna to talk to you today a little bit, a little bit about. Um, the idea is that you don't need to be so well behaved. In fact, um, I want you to leave your cheat days behind for good and join me on the dark side of indulgence. So the concept of cheating and its ugly sister rewards, they're really deceitful. They put on a great show, but they don't belong in the world of balance. The world of opposites, maybe, but absolutely not the world of balance. They seem like they balance each other, but really one is always trying to steal from the other. When we allow ourselves to um, really kind of, when we allow ourselves to cheat and reward ourselves with food, then food becomes a determining factor subtly over time as to whether or not we are good people, not just where we be behaving, but it's like you have a bad day and so you binge and you feel like crap, so eating bad food you associate with being a bad person. It all happens subconsciously and you actually don't even get to be part of the conversation. So gradually, good behaviors like eating well and exercising all week are rewarded with bad food. And when we behave badly, like eat bad foods on not cheat days, we assume we are bad. And if we are bad, we might as well, might as well say screw it all and binge. So do you see the problem? Whether you're being good or bad, you end up eating crap. It perpetually puts you in the cycle of failing so you binge or doing well so you eat crap. So here's what to do instead. Call your cheat days and tell them you're just a different person than you used to be and you're sure they'll find some other sucker to fall for their dirty little lies. And then eat whatever you want whenever you want. When you truly want to indulge, Find the best quality indulgence you can find and make it an experience. Instead of shoving a cookie from the gas station into your mouth on the way out the door, it still counts if you inhale it, you know, go to a French bakery for the best chocolate croissant you can find, not speaking from personal experience, and then pause to enjoy it mindfully and guilt-free. So next it's time to create some rewards that don't have to do with food. Your food doesn't care how good you are this week. It's meant to nourish your body, not wear your fourth grade soccer team photo on a button on its shirt because it's so proud of you. Food is meant to fuel your body and use some real rewards for sticking to your goals. Reward yourself with healthy, luxurious habits. If you get to eat whatever you want whenever you want, then food is a crappy reward anyway. Instead, get a massage. Buy yourself a new pair of boots. Call in sick to work just to read and relax at home or spend an entire day on you. Enter your new healthy relationship. No abuse of the partnership. No cheating, sneaking or hiding or stealing from the other. Let me be clear here. I'm not telling you to abandon your healthy eating habits with a not so occasional cheat day or non-stop McDonald's and spaghetti, I'm talking about a major mindset shift. That when you determine that you can actually eat whatever you want, whenever you want, you don't want to eat it as badly. What I'm saying instead is deep down, you're a rule-breaking badass. So as long as someone, even if it's you, is setting restriction, you're gonna wanna rebel. So if you lift the restriction, you also lift the rebellion. So eat for health first, indulge whenever you want to, and then when you eat for health first, you crave less crap. So your need for indulgences will decrease anyway. You get the best of both worlds.
You'll stop craving crap because you'll actually be rewarding yourself and pampering yourself with stuff that actually fulfills you in a way that a bag of Doritos or a box of Cheez-Its never will. Know this, you're a good person because of who you are, not how you eat, no matter how badly you eat. When you take the pressure off of food to be more than what it is, you can actually enjoy it in a totally different way. You also get to connect more to who you are and what you truly want. Cheat days are like the needy partner. No matter how much good or bad attention they get, they always want more. So ditch that loser and take your fun, healthy life back. Bye-bye.